An annual breakfast honors four men and two women for being everyday heroes. The Gaza State Community College Cardinal Foundation hosted its Everyday Heroes Breakfast at the One Stop Center on the East Broad Street campus. Honorees were selected from nominations from around the community. Two of the honorees, Larry and Sue Guffey, have advocated for the mentally ill for more than 25 years. They established the center chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Illness. I'm very grateful, very grateful, but I, I don't do this to be recognized. It, we have uh, actually more than one family member, but one of our sons has suffered from mental illness for many years, and we learned about this uh, organization when we lived in New Jersey, but then we moved to Ohio, and I found that it was there. It's a National Alliance on Mental Illness, and it helped us get on the same page about our son's illness. The Guffies have helped to implement crisis intervention team training to assist with law enforcement challenges in dealing with mental health issues. Another honoree, Gaston State Math Instructor and Tutor Crystal Casey, has triumphed through personal hardships, including her son being born with Down syndrome and serious heart problems. But those difficulties don't stop Casey from helping others. With tutoring, um, you are helping them to learn their subject, but a lot of your tutoring is encouragement. I've been able to feed that back into people that I've, that I've tutored to help them overcome their anxiety, their fears, their hardships to be successful. And that's where I feel like um, it's kind of come full circle. Other honorees today included Floyd Donald, the owner of WMGJ Radio Station, the area's only African-American-owned radio station. Donald organizes the longest and oldest standing Juneteenth celebration in Alabama, as well as the annual Martin Luther King Jr. Day citywide program. Another honoree, Scott Hilton, is the founder of Eagle Rock Boys Ministries, a nonprofit that helps young men who have experienced abuse, neglect, and poverty. Hilton has opened two thrift stores to help fund the expansion of the facility, which was opened in 1990. And finally, Gaston City Schools special education teacher and the founder of Beautiful Rainbow Cafe, Chip Rowan. His teaching practices guide students to more successful interactions with the world around them.